Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. I'm back. I'm back with Jill Kincaid. She's here to talk about cancer. Jill, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show for the first time. Thank you. How can you enlighten my audience this morning about the dreaded cancer? I'm so tired of hearing that word, but how can we enlighten them? Well, cancer is a terrifying word and everything that comes with it is very negative. But today we're going to spread a little sunshine on that because uh, AstraZeneca and Scientific American joined together to form this Your Cancer Coalition of wonderful things that are going on all over the country in different communities to make cancer, well, to bring more hope. Well, I can, when you are fighting something so hard, but you know what? I'm so excited because I see medical technology getting the upper hand on cancer. People are living longer. I see them living more healthy with cancer. Am I right? You are so right. The things coming down the pike every day, I can't even keep up with it. And, you know, for example, my sister, the whole reason we have chemo buddies is I was in chemo with my sister. She had triple negative breast cancer and there just were not a lot of options. And they told her, we can't cure you. You probably have about 18 months to live and we were trying to live longer with cancer. But today, people with tri triple negative have hope. I know five-year survivors. I mean, they, the science has come so far that now they may have, I mean, who knows, but they may have been able to cure her because the science has just come so far. It has, it really has. We have quite a few uh, listening members who have uh, allowed me to be inside of their lives and they they're still surviving and thriving and i'm so Absolutely. proud of women especially with triple negative breast cancer we have one listener who is a teacher and she worked throughout all of those therapies she never missed a day i don't even know how that's possible other than she's a beast and she uh, is chemo's very hard and radiation's very hard and i would you know, venture to say most people spend a lot of time on the couch, not dealing with kids in the school system. Can so you tell us how you, how you are recognizing people who are, are, are doing so well with cancer? Well, at Chemo Buddies, what we do is we are the volunteers inside the treatment room. So uh, we're, I, I think of the treatment room, it's like my living room. So you are just dropping by and I'm like, hey, how are you today? What can I get for you? Are you thirsty? Do you need a snack? What's happening? And we just hang out and it's we've just made it more casual and comfortable. It's a long treatment day and then we're there to help you through it. What got you so involved? Was it your sister or did you just see the devastation sure. that, that cancer wreaks upon people? Well, it was exactly my sister because we noticed how many people were there alone. And like in her case, her husband uh, had a job working full time and he needed those benefits for insurance. He could not take off a full day of work every other week to sit with her in chemo. So I got the job. And as we were sitting there, we noticed how many people were alone. And my sister's heart was, okay, we got to fix this. And she just started ordering me around. I mean, it was very organic, like, hey, get that guy a drink or, you know, whatever people needed. And that's when the light bulb went on and we said, hey, let's bring volunteers into the treatment room to be companions to all these folks that are alone. And as it's evolved, we're there for anybody that walks in the door, whether it's the spouse of a patient or a nurse needs something. We are just your happy little helpers. That's so kind and benevolent of you. And people, I guess they know what kindness and benevolent, how we can help a person to heal and to get well and to be able to fight what they're fighting. Cause cancer is a foe that we, none of us want to face. Absolutely. Every single person in chemo does not want to be there, but the one thing they fear more than the treatment is the disease. It does not discriminate rich, poor, ethnicity, everybody, everybody's at risk. So well said. Those people who are listening and, and maybe fighting this terrible disease or supporting someone fighting, how do they 
How do they get your attitude? How do they get your stamina? What, what's online for them? Well, on our website and our Facebook, we are chemobuddies.org. Um, we have a lot of tips and things we've experienced through the years that may be helpful. And then on yourcancer.org, which is part of the C2 Awards, there's resources, there's advocacy groups, there's patient stories. And then the folks that won the award, they have all our stories on there. So that's very encouraging also. But I, I want to, if I can, elaborate a little on if you have someone going through treatment right now, I want you to be proactive. And instead of saying things like, let me know if I can help, be more assertive and say, hey, I'm headed to the grocery store. What can I pick up for you? Instead of saying, can I pick you something up? I mean, just assume they need your help. Be assertive. Say, uh, hey, I've got the day off. Can I take your kids to a movie and give you a break? You know, I just, when you say to someone, let me know if you need something, they're generally not going to tell you that they need something. But trust me, if they're in chemo or radiation, they need something. And the C2 award winners, we want to uh, just give all of them a big hand for what they do, who they are, how they've been committed to this. And so we wish them the best in helping the rest of us fight this disease. And I want to thank you so much, Jill, for being here to talk about You're the welcome. C2 awards and your sister. Yes. Thank you for having me. I appreciate that. Thank you for being here. And once again, what's that website my audience can go to? Yourcancer.org or chemobuddies.org. So go get you some hope. All right, congratulations also. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.